Hey guys, Steve here. Welcome back. Uh, today is Friday, October 3rd, 2014. Uh, I know it's been quite a while since I did my last video. Um, actually, it says it's been since K-Day. It's the last time I did a video. Um, mostly, primarily, really, because I haven't really found anything. Um, although, as you can see here, um, I have um, acquired, found, bought, whatever, um, a lot of pieces since... Um, probably in the last uh, week or two, and so that's why I'm doing the video. Um, I wanted to get this done tonight because we have a club meet tomorrow, or a monthly club meet, and I'll probably have more to sh more to share with you tomorrow night. So I just, I'm trying to break it up as easy as possible. So um, lots of stuff here. I'll go through it, through it as quickly as possible, and um, we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, um, most of the stuff that I have today is Hot Wheels and uh, Matchbox, so um, I'm not going to go in any really particular order, uh, mostly whatever order that um, is sitting on my desk here. So bear with me, again, we'll, make, we'll try to get this done as uh, quickly as possible. Okay, alright, so um, let's talk about um, mainline cases. Um, as may, most of you know, particularly those who are on Facebook, on, on, the, on the trade forums and things like that, um, right now Walmart, uh, well let me step back, um, K-Day K of course um, consisted of, of Q-Case, which of course um, consisted of probably one, one of the two anticipated um, uh, Super Treasure Hunts of the year, uh, the first one being the Super Gasser, and the second one being of course the the Datsun 510 wagon, um, which is this one right here. Well, that was K-Day. Now um, Walmart is finally starting to get um, um, Q case as well. Um, and in some places, um, they're actually getting a mix of both Q and um, A case, the 2015 A case. And they're, if you know anything about case codes, my understanding is those case codes are actually um, labeled as R cases. Um, so, um, I was able to grab some uh, AK stuff this past week, um, and uh, so let's go ahead and share with you. Um, starting off with um, the one of the pieces that everyone's looking um, and has been looking for. This is also the Super Treasure Hunt for a case. Um, this is, of course, we're talking about the new recolored cool combi. Okay. Um, it's a surf shop. Um, got a couple of these. Um, this one particular, I don't know if I'll be able to share it with, I eh, might be able to see it here. Um, this one actually, I noticed this just like 10 minutes ago. Um, this one actually has the J-hook, the plastic J-hook inside the the, the, um, the blister. So I thought that was interesting. I don't really collect a lot of uh, errors, but um, you know, the ones I do collect, or the ones I do have are kind of, I think, unique. So, that's a cool Kami. Um, really quick, we got the um, white Porsche Panamera. Okay, um, another recolor. Um, I think this is kind of love or hate. The Datsun 620 um, truck in the green. Um, a, a also a recolor. Uh, the 2012 Acura NSX Concept, yellow with the black. Um, very close. Very. Um, um, the styling has a lot of Italian um, styling. At first, when I was uh, digging through the um, the BOD, I thought it was actually a Ferrari. Um, one of my um, a few favorite, um, I guess, fantasy type cars is uh, this one here, Super Blitzen. Okay, um, that'll get opened. Um, 69 Dodge Charger 500. This is, this is pretty cool. It's got the Hemi logo on the side. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a case as well. This is the Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano. Nice yellow. 70, 71 uh, Hemi Cuda. This is pretty, I like the paint job and the flames on this one. This is really nice. Um... I haven't seen this cast casting for a while. I think the last time I've seen this was the, the trailer treasure hunt. Ford Shelby GR1 concept. It's one of my, um, one I like a lot. 
And then um, the last two here. I got a couple more. Um, of course, the the new James Bond 007 from the Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, this is the Lotus es Esprit S1. Very nice. Um, they did a very nice job on this as far as detail and all that. And then, um, surprisingly, um, the new Snoopy. Um, at first, I was wondering why they're including Snoopy again, but then I realized that um, this is actually a, a different wheel uh, combination. So I got a couple of those as well. Okay. All right. Um, next, I want to cover um, two big shippers that are coming through um, that everyone's seeing um, in Walmart. Um, if they don't, if nobody is seeing the Q case, then they're probably seeing these two shippers. Um, these, of course, are, are the Fast and Furious um, series as well as the Batman 75th anniversary. All right. Um, let me see if I have these in order here, real quick. So eight. Six, five, okay. So I'm gonna go in order as to, yeah, I'm gonna go in order as to um, how they're listed here. So um, on uh, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, um, um, when I hit the Walmart, they actually had um, the quarter shippers, the quarter uh, Benedettes actually, quarter BOD size, and um, they're getting released now all over the place at all the Walmarts. Um, both a Fast and Furious and a um, Batman 75th anniversary. Um, so basically, as you may or may not know, this is the second release of the Fast and Furious cars with some differences, and I'll try to go through those as, as, as we go. So car number one is, of course, the Dodge um, 1970 Dodge Charger RT. As far as I know, there aren't any changes to this particular one, although these look like they do have the hood pins. Um, in the first original series, there are uh, certain ones that had hood pins and some that didn't. Okay. The second one here is the Toyota Supra. Um, as far as I know, there are no changes. This is car number two. Let me make some room here. Give me one second. The third one um, is this one here. This is the, of course, number three, the Nissan Skyline GTR. R34. Now one of the big changes with this one is on the original one though the rear spoiler is not only black but it's also plastic. Um, with this with the second release of the Skyline they actually um, molded the wing as a metal wing into the body of the car. Um, I think I think I read somewhere they did that because in order to save money. Um, the other difference between this this new version and the original version is on this new version, the blue tampo stripes go all the way down to the front air dam, whereas on the original it only goes up it only goes up to the edge of the hood. So those are the two differences. Okay. Uh, number four. Now here's the big one that everyone's talking about. This is of course the '67 Ford Mustang. Um, this particular one was very 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 hard to find. Um, in the original series, and um, they were going for basically the same cost as a Super Treasure Hunt. Um, there were, uh, my understanding, if I remember, there was only two, maybe three of these in in um, in Sidekick shippers, so they're very rare. Um, those particular ones, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, those were international cards. Well, on the new release, um, in the in the um, in the bin that I that I found, um, brand brand new bin that I found this week, there is probably a good two, maybe three dozen of these '67 Camaro um, Mustangs, and um, cars the same. Card is different. Um, on the original card, international card, this Fast and Furious logo is in here, and also on the original card, this this line here where it says where it says um, official movie merchandise this is not on the international card so that's the big difference so I'm not sure what's going to happen with these um, as far as value um, I have a feeling a lot, of, a lot of people are talking about because um, this has been flooded in all these shippers that the obviously the cost is going to drive that's going to drive the cost down on the Mustangs personally I think it's the original is still going to be hard to find and and keep somewhat of its value because the card is different. Now, this particular one, um, this is the uh, this is a new one for this series, um, car number five, uh, the 72 Grand 
um, for Gran Torino Sport. Um, this particular car was not in the original series. Number six, um, this was, this is the 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8. Number seven, also included in the original, the 2011 Dodge Charger RT. And then finally, card number eight, uh, also original series, the 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. Okay, so those are the Fast and Furious cars. Um, um, release um, in these um, um, mini quarter size um, bins. Um, since we're on the subject, let's go ahead and do the Batman stuff. Um, Batmans were um, originally being reported um, in um, Canada. Um, several of my friends in Canada, collector friends in Canada, were seeing shippers of these. Um, these are now finally hitting our Walmarts here as well. Um, again, in the quarter size bin. Um, there are a couple uh, pieces which I'll try to, I th based on, I don't know this for a fact, this is based on what people have told me, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll call out the ones that are, that are a little bit harder to find. Um, first one, uh, number one, this is the 75 Years of Batman um, release. Um, the first one here is the um, Batman Live Batmobile. This, one, this is the one that's a little bit harder to find. Number two is the Batcopter. Number three, uh, the Batman Batmobile. Let's see if we can get the focus here. Um, number four, um, the Batman Classic TV Series Batmobile. This is, um, I think, one of the hard finds up in um, Canada, at least. Um, I, although I found plenty of these. Number five, um, the Batmobile. This is the one I had a little bit hard finding um, as well. Number six, of course, the bat. The bat is supposed to be hard to find up in Canada. Um, haven't had any problems down here. The, um, if you see this, the storage, look at it really closely. It's got a real cool black with a dark, dark, dark blue um, mixed in the paint. Very, very nice color. Number seven, the Arkham Asylum Batmobile. And then finally, number eight, the Brave and the Bold Batmobile. That one's kind of cool too. I like that. I bought a couple of these. Okay. All right. So that's the Batmobile. Um, excuse me, Batman series. All right. Moving along. Um, talk about these. Um, these are just now also another um, line that we're we're hitting in um, in um, Canada as well, and they're just down now starting to hit. Um, um, I found these actually in Target. Uh, these are the new pop culture Marvel um, cars. Um, I was only so far I've only been able to find four out of the six. Um, this is the '67 Ford Bronco Roadster with Daredevil. We have the uh, 1940 Ford Coupe with Thor. The AOK -OK with the Incredible Hulk. And the 34 Dodge Delivery with Iron Man. Now, the other two that I'm missing, um, and actually I saw one of them in the store. I should have bought it when I did, but when I went back it was gone. Um, we have Loki, which is the A-Crate Delivery. And then the last one, which is supposed to be short-packed as well, from my understanding, is the 70, um, the 70 Chevy Blazer, which is Luke Cage. So eventually, I'll, hopefully, I can find those in the store, um, and um, and then open up the set. Um, I like all my pop culture cars are loose. Okay. All right. Um, real quick, let's talk about these here. We're almost done. We're gonna run it, finish this, and then go into our, our matchbox. Um, so if you guys have big lots right now. Uh, Big Lots uh, stores are right now in the process of, of or have just finished um, um, shelf resets, and they're getting ready for the holidays. And what they're doing is they're actually stocking all Big Lots with the trays. Um, and right now, I've seen so far a minimum of six trays, and um, 
so far what I found this is is um, they're stocking these trays which are end case and the end case um, super the end case hunts for the regular and super the regular is the poison arrow which has actually been pretty hard to find as well as the uh, 65 Chevy Impala and actually I found two at two different um, big lots so um, those are out now. Keep an eye on that out for those. Okay. Um, also, um, a Target. I, f I found this particular. I was actually found in a um, brand new case at Target. I asked if they can open it. They said, sure, why not? And um, I found another Harley Davidson Fat Boy Super Treasure Hunt. Okay. So, and actually, I found basically three Supers um, in, a, in, amount, in, in the same amount of days. So, three Supers in the last three days. Not too bad. Um, and then finally, from going back to um, the 2015 A case, um, this is the new um, with it with the Super Treasure Hunt of the Kulkami. This is the regular hunt, the Chicane. Um, so that's what the, um, the, the the case A 2015 regular treasure hunt is, the Chicane. It's all chrome or silver. Kind of cool, I guess, for for a fantasy car. Right. All right. The last, um, yeah, the last Hot Wheels I want to show you, um, which have um, been on my radar for a while as well, is the Q case, the Walmart Q case, and um, with that being said, um, included in that is the next set of Zamax. So here they are. Um, Zamax number 16 is the custom Volkswagen Beetle. Number seven and seventeen is the Twin Mill Three. And finally number eighteen for the Mustang guys out there, the twenty twelve Ford Mustang Boss three oh two Laguna Seca. Okay. So those are the twenty um the twenty the twenty fourteen Q case Zamex. Alright, jumping real quick. Um to that matchbox. I'll do it as fast as I can. We're almost finished here. Um, so basically, um, the um, um, L, M, L and M case of matchbox is hitting stores now. Uh, L may already be in stores. Uh, N or M, one of those two, are M, excuse me, um, are just barely hitting stores now. And um, so I want to share that with you. Um, so we have the um, Land Rover. Um, Land Rover Defender 110, new um, recolor of the Caterham Superlift H, uh, excuse me, R500. Got a few of those. Nice car. Um, one of the series that I like to collect, the Ink brand. Um, this is the Drill Digger. That's a pretty cool piece. A Superlift Ford F350 Super Duty in red. This one's kind of neat. It reminds me of G.I. Joe, actually. Armored Recon Vehicle. I'll be opening up that up. I'm gonna, I want to see if that comes off. Um, I got this because the back looks cool and it's got a raft in it. Um, Rapids Res Rescue. <coughs> it's got a raft back there. I'll have to see if it's removable or not. And then finally, the one that I've really been waiting for, which I found, is the new BMW M1. Now, just um, just so you know, um, from this is I just read this, so I'm, I'm only quoting. My understanding is BMW now, if you, for those who know, this used to be when this came out, this used to be called the BMW 1M, um, not to be confused with the 1970s, late 70s BMW M1, which was a race car, kind of a supercar like the Lamborghini. Well, apparently, um, BMW now wants this particular car to be called the BMW M1. So that's why it's not a typo or a misprint. That's why it has BMW M1 on the side. But um, awesome color. I'm glad I found it. Hopefully I can kind of find a couple more. Maybe do some um, customs. Okay. All right. Finally, what I want to show with you is some uh, more Matchbox. But this is actually Matchboxes that I got through um, a yard sale online. Um, I picked these up actually just today. Um, actually, these two I've already done. Um, so here we go. Um, real quick, we have the extended extending ladder fire truck, 
moving parts. Ooh, pretty cool actually. That's a lot. Got a lot of detail in it. We have the Ford ambulance. Okay. I have this one, I'm pretty sure. We have the Opal Calibra DTM World Cup. Of course, the Lamborghini Countach. Ferrari F40. Kind of cool deco. It's got the um, sty in there. Uh, 97 Corvette. Corvette T top. Kind of cool. It's a light here. Here we go. Okay. Um, I have one of these. We got, I guess, got another one. This will probably be, maybe it'll be an opener. 68 Ford, uh, 68 Mustang Cobra Jet. And I also have another one, 68 Mustang Cobra Jet as well, with different color, blue. May look purple in the picture, but it's actually blue with orange and yellow tampo. Um, 69 Camaro SS 396 convertible. Very nice one. One of my favorites um, as far as utilities. Um, we have the uh, maintenance truck. In red. Ford F-150 4x4. This one's kind of nice. Okay. 56 Ford pickup. Pickup. And we also have a different variation, the purple one. Corvette Grand Sport. It's actually kind of nice. I might open that one up. And then finally, one of the ones that I've actually been kind of eyeing on eBay. Um, um, the Volvo Container Truck. Pretty cool. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the doors in the back open. So very cool. All right. Well, that's it. Um, thanks for ta thanks for um, sharing the time with me, um, so I can show you what I got. Um, I, hopefully, by tomorrow, I have some more um, stuff to share with you. Um, I have a lot of trades going on and, um, at the club meet, so we'll see what happens and um, go from there. So until then, um, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.